Hello, thanks for joining me. I'm Grandmother Johnette, and this is September 1st. So I'm doing my uh, monthly consciousness update today, but we're going to talk a lot more than just about this month. So I'm calling this month a hard reset. And when you're on your computer, and your programs aren't working and nothing's closing, nothing's opening, and the that colored ball is spinning, sometimes the only thing you can do is push the hard reset button and wait. So this September, six planets are in retrograde, and I'm not an astrologer, but what that fundamentally means to us is that uh, when the planets seem to be all moving in the same direction, uh, we're more externally focused. But when they appear to be retrograde, and obviously it's just our from our viewpoint on Earth, it brings us internally. And the pace of this year so far has been frenetic. And we've become really out of balance. Um, You've noticed that we notice it in our in, in our world, and so September's actually a quieter month. So I invite you to pull your energies internally, to take that time to meditate, take that time to say no to things. Um, it's really a time to receive upgrades. So again, with the computer analogy. You can't install your upgrades until you stop and let them install. So we continue on our major call to awakening that this whole year has been about. And it's, and I've also called it the year for leadership, where we're stepping out of the shadows of following what everyone else thinks. And we're asking questions more. Who am I? What is my expression? What is my uniqueness? I don't have to follow what mom and dad think anymore. I don't, I don't have to follow what everyone else thinks. So it, it's interesting that September is kind of began and we're still in the energies of this super blue moon that happened uh, a few days ago. And all my crystals, I put them out into so they could absorb the, the energy of this super blue moon. And it just means the moon is closer to us. And it's a blue moon because it's the second full moon in a month. But interestingly enough, the next super blue moon won't be until 2037. So they are rare. So what I'm seeing is really a fundamental shift in our motivational fuel from, I say external, but it's also uh, when our fundamental shift is external, it's all about what do I want? What do I need? What does the outside world need to give me? And that's what gives birth to our disconnection from ourself. So we're moving from that fundamental shift to asking different questions. Who am I? What is the expression of me and my uniqueness? Uh, what am I radiating out rather than what am I trying to pull in? It brings us back to our core of power. And September gives us some time to cocoon in that core of power, that self-realization. Maybe you used to journal in the past, but I invite you to find one of those old journals that has tons of empty pages still, put it by your bed and ask different questions. Then how am I going to do this? And who's going to support me? And how will I support myself when I'm old? All those questions, ask different questions and maybe just do some automatic writing or some self-channeling on what answers you get when you ask more internally self-expression based questions. So we're moving from survival to creation and expression. So the questions about how will I survive 
put those in the drawer. And the question is, how can I express who I am? Who am I? So I was, so I was um, not in this who am I stage. I was in the worry stage. I was taking a walk two days ago and I'm worrying about stuff. You know, sometimes when you have the quiet time, you take a walk or, or damn it, it happens when you're doing your yoga and you should be really empty. And then the litany of worries that they're tried and true and they come up and they stand all in line till you acknowledge them. So I was going through that litany of worries and I hear a very profound and deep voice deep not in that it's a male voice but that it's true and it said you were programmed to worry and it stopped me oh it's a program and I realized that when we're three and four years old we don't worry our dog doesn't worry um trees don't worry you know, things happen, but we don't worry. So that has really waken me up. Um, you were programmed to worry. So now we can see more clearly what our programs are and go, oh, we'll close that one down. Oh, we'll close that one down too. So I kind of want to spend more of this time, not on the energies of September, but on this big call to ascension, call to awakening that we're all part of, and that's happening now. Um, the, the big picture is we're moving from, as I see it, is we're moving from a very disconnected, I-centered, me-centered world where if you're not with me, you're my enemy, and we're just so disconnected. You know, the sense of community seems to be falling apart in the sense of I separate you, then I make you wrong. So that's it has been what's happening. But there's this inevitable call to awakening where we're what's coming into that world is a remembrance of non-separation, a remembrance of connection, of oneness. And it's not just a mental remembrance because we've had that, we've read all the books, but it's more physical now that the vibrations on earth are reminding us of our oneness, of our separation, of our lack of separation, of our connectedness. And so as the frequencies get stronger and stronger on earth, they wake us up in our little cocoons, like the, the sunshine wakens, wakens up the caterpillar to come out with its new wings. But when we come out of our cocoon with this new frequency and we see all the other butterflies, we then create higher frequencies. So it's not just the sunlight that caused it. It's now we are adding to the frequencies of awakening. And all these butterflies are awakening more butterflies and are awakening more cocoons. And the critical mass gets bigger and bigger. So we are in a positive flow that's not going to be stopped. But it's messy. It's uncomfortable because we liked our cocoon. We could have just our friends in our cocoon. We could like everybody there and we could dislike those. So what I'm seeing is as we, um, when the dark and the light, the good and the bad was all intermeshed in, in our society, we, we couldn't see it. So we couldn't choose good and light because Anything that was within us that was dark, we denied. We projected it on someone else and we denied it. But with this increasing frequency, there is at first what seems like an increasing polarization where the energy of the light goes up into butterflies and the energy of the dark goes wherever it goes. And we're seeing the great difference now. That in itself is fine. What we have to make sure we're not doing is judging this darkness in any way that it is wrong. That 
it simply is the shadow side of the light that we're receiving. So I'm going to talk a little bit about a hypnosis session I had a few weeks ago, and I really want to thank Laura Weaver, um, and her website is Waking to Wisdom, because she she's a master, and you know when I channel Mark or I'm doing channelings for someone, it's focused on that. But in this hypnosis, she lets me go where my spirit wants to talk about. So I'm going to share some of these things, and um, we're going to put up in the uh, in the comments how you can find this uh, hypnosis session because it was recorded. And it's called, so it's on Waking to Wisdom on YouTube. And if you look up Opening Portals is my, how she named my session. But I'm going to share some of the things that I realized in that kind of channeled higher session. That the earth, I could see it so clearly that the earth is shedding darkness, however it is. And that a field of awakening is really a field of healing. Those were my words in hypnosis. A field of healing is being awakened inside and outside the earth. Those are the frequencies, the sunshine that are opening us from our cocoons. And what I could see is that literally darkness, shadows, energies that are dense and stuck and negative were being pulled out of the earth. She was actually shedding the darkness and pulled out of people without having to, each of us individually to deal with each trauma, each issue, each past life. It was really being cleaned out like this cosmic vacuum cleaner. And what I could see is that as the earth and us gets clearer and clearer, a cosmic call goes out um, of that the earth is finally awakening. So these the energy fields of oneness are getting stronger and stronger, of connectedness rather than separation. But also as this call goes out, I could see so many star beings and multidimensional beings answering the call and then hastening and increasing this healing um, healing aura that's all around the earth. So it's getting stronger and stronger. The call goes out, more beings come, more gets shed. So but I want you to see that it's not just because the frequencies are happening as we move through vibrational belts, though that's part of it. But we are finally the cause of a lot of this awakening because as we wake up, we become portals. Our magnetism changes. That changes our life. It changes the field that we're interconnected in. And that different magnetic field, you can't hide from it. It's throughout the earth. It's throughout all dimensions of the earth. It's throughout all time. So it goes into what we appear, what appears to be the past, into what appears to be the future. In that hypnosis, I also could see, um, because I was kind of asking the question, <laughs> why did we get dark? And the, the message that I articulated was this oneness field never left the earth. It's just that the oneness field, the, the field of being connected with all things has with it a great deal of power. And we were not responsible enough to hold that power. So the oneness field and the power that goes with it was blocked to humanity for a long time. But enough responsible beings have woken up and woken up more of us who are responsible beings and it's turning around. I saw so much wisdom being born on earth. And, and I, you know, how do you see wisdom? What I understood in that session is that the wisdom 
it's not specific. It's not something that you use to hold power or you fill libraries with it. It was a non-specific, non-personal wisdom that's actually linked to power. So wisdom is our opening back to the field of oneness, which is the field of power. I clearly understand that the wisdom is not what you know. It's more like the wisdom of releasing and the wisdom of letting go. So this September, with our, our focus more internally, and yes, Internally can get messy because all our head stuff comes up and our everything. But when we find the quiet button, the, the hard restart button on our internal focus, we come back into alignment with this non-specific, non-personal wisdom. And then this non-specific, non-personal power that can't be used except it is shown out, it, it radiates out. Um, a, a, a phrase I said during that hypnosis session is the vibration of earth is remarkable when unhindered by the trash of the karma of bad decisions. Um, and I saw that bad decisions, old karma, they don't need to be healed. We don't need to dig into the trash pile to find each one and heal it individually. It's like they are a, a puddle on a sidewalk in the summer after a rain. The sun comes out, the puddle disappears. It's like so much that we've had to carry and work through is evaporating, evaporating in the frequencies that are here now. Huh, right? And maybe we can see it a little more in the quietness that I'm inviting you to uh, put in your life this month. Um, so in that hypnosis, I went a little further because my question to myself and the guides, who, whoever was there, was why is there so much darkness here now? And the answer was, it's coming because of this great shift. So many people uh, knew that this shift was coming now. And so it's like we took on all our karma. We took on all the bad traits and all the stuff we've been carrying on. And we were incarnated in this world without any help in, in difficult circumstances, difficult families. And it doesn't mean we're bad people or that we are unenlightened people. It means we saw that this was the time that the garbage is getting taken out. And so we said, all right, I want all that stuff I've been trying to deal with in my karmic life. But I want it now because the light's coming on, the garbage truck is coming and it's going to be cleared. Uh, so I saw, it gave me really a lot of humility uh, because yes, I judge people who are stuck or negative or, you know, stupid. And what I got is that um, the, the words were, don't judge the dark beings. There are no bad souls. There are no dumb souls. So that was a message right to me. So let us be so kind. And in such humility by the lives people have, because they knew that this was the time to let go of things they've been carrying so we can move out of karma. It's a, it's a good time. So we are portals. We, we are part of the cause of this awakening. And as portals, what you're going to notice is that your magnetism changes. I can't describe it, but when you're in meditation, your beingness has a different quality. It's not a quality of light. It's not a tone. It's more fundamental than that. 
And that is you as a opening magnetic being. Um, we are portals being activated. And what I also saw in this journey is that the portals on earth are really have always been maintained by high dimensional beings and that they were previously blocked to humans because we didn't have the wisdom to open those portals. Um, what I saw in that journey and why Laura called it opening the portals is after this whole discussion that I've been sharing with you about darkness and light in this call to awakening, I was taken to the top of a very high snowy mountain. I knew it was in South America. Uh, later, I looked it up and saw that it was Aconcagua, which is the highest mountain in South America. And I saw that there were six masters, interdimensional, multidimensional masters above that mountain. And they were moving about their energies like, like there were two triangles and they moved it and moved it until they became a six pointed star. That was like the secret combination lock. And then I saw so much negativity, so much junk, darkness released out of Aconcagua, which is up there in the Andes in the perpetual snow, like a volcano, like the, <laughs> or, or more graphic, like a zit being squeezed, right? It was like all this stuff Mother Earth had been holding. And now because of the levels we're getting to and because of the caretaking of these portals by interdimensional beings, earth is ready to let go of this. So earth really is shedding darkness, but it's not just the earth. As this portal and other, I'm gonna call them escape portals open, our beingness will become so much lighter. Our way to wisdom, our way to power will become so much lighter. After this, my um, I was moved, visibly shaken um, in the session, and I cried out, this is a huge gift for humanity. So much pollution, scars, and trauma now has a portal out of our systems. Now has a portal, and many portals. That was just a like the main one. I also saw many negative beings just spewed out so they can find their place somewhere else. Um, and then my words, as I ended that part of the, um, the session was, this is a planet of ascension, not just the planet, but all the beings of many races get a lift now. So, that's the big picture. This is a time for a hard reset for all of you. And the equinox, September 23rd, from September 22nd to the 23rd, um, there's kind of gonna be a settling out. Let's see what I wrote. Um, the energies are going to get um, softer and we'll begin to feel the result of this reset as we come forth in balance for the equinox. Um, on the equinox, the 20, 23rd and 24th, I will be doing my, uh, it used to be every two years and we'll go back to every two years, but my mark intensive in the Netherlands, it's, it's live in the Netherlands. If you're in Europe or can come, it's amazing to spend two days. It's totally exploratory. I have an outline, but Mark always blows it away in the first meditation. You can watch it on Zoom. It's recorded, so you can watch it later if you're busy. Please look at the links for the Mark Intensive Lifting the Veils 2023 Ascension. Um, and that is. Uh, Mark told me to have it over the equinox. Um, the, the other thing that's happening this month is my monthly meditation. That is part of our subscription. They're $25 a month. Uh, is 
The topic is align with your divinity, which totally fits what we're talking about here. Your divinity isn't what you thought it was. It's much greater. So we need a realignment. Like this is a hard reset. We need to realign with our divinity. Um, Mark's ongoing Monday classes. I'm going to be traveling in Europe this next month. So they won't start until October 2nd. And the title is Purification. We're working with the 12th dimension. And uh, you have a chance to listen to part one, which was preparation. This will be part two, purification. Mm -hmm. And the whole topic is transcendence. Again, we'll have links there. Uh, my next consciousness update, uh, this one's today on the 1st, won't be till October 8th. It's a Sunday. And the reason I'm doing it then is I will be with the grandmothers. Uh, some of the grandmothers of the uh, 13 Indigenous Grandmothers Council are likely to be there. So we will be doing the uh, consciousness update from the, the medicine wheel. And hopefully I can invite some of the grandmothers to be part of our little update. So that's Sunday, October 8th. Um, and if any of you are interested, I hope you are, to invite you to Sedona, Arizona, uh, November 3rd through the 8th for my annual women's retreat. I only take 10 people. Um, it's not up on my website yet. It should be probably by tomorrow or the next day, but um, it's phenomenal. Uh, People are still in touch with each other from two, three years ago. So you all, September is your time. Go inside, ask different questions, see who you really are. Stop judging everything that you think is wrong, but bring it back into your light and follow your wisdom. If your wisdom says to go in the forest and open a portal, do it. You have no day-to-day -day teacher telling you what to do. The teachings, the wisdoms, the wisdom, the knowledge is yours. Thank you. And thank you for letting me have a longer uh, consciousness update. We had a lot to get to. Blessings. Thank you. Mm -hmm.